We're going to get into the first presentation now, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Amelia Earhart taking us uh, to a trip to the TIA portal in the cloud. And for this, please welcome Stefan Kleber. Stefan. Hey, Chris. Hi. Nice outfit, Stefan. Yeah, I just landed nearby, so I am at the end of a fair, am I? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You landed at the right spot at the right time. Okay, Perfect timing, great. by the way. That feels great, really good because I was asked to have a talk about Tia Portal going to the cloud. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, have fun. So, welcome, everybody, and just get started. But before we dive into the topic, very, very detailed, I have also two questions for you. So you already know how you are able to participate in this poll. Just grab your phones again, smart devices, tablets, everything you have, and scan this QR code. If you don't have a QR code reader or an Android device, you're also able to type in this web page with a number code. OK, so we will start with the first question. Do your parents understand what you're doing at work? Great question, isn't it? Because every one of us was already asked, OK, what are you doing from Monday to Friday the whole day? And especially me, as I'm now here on the stage, I maybe have to discuss it a little bit more detailed with my parents. So you feel quite similar like in me, it's quite hard because the word is even complex. Second question, have you ever thought about using cloud-based engineering tools? Yeah, you quite get a feeling now because this is the topic why you are joining this presentation. Cloud-based engineering tools. I think you know TIA Portal is our main engineering tool for all the electrical components. OK, and we quite have some answers. So that's really great, because you already thought about it. And this is the reason why you're here. And this is the reason why we dive into the topic now. So let's get back to a time where digitalization was not possible at all. This is Emilia Mary Earhart. She was the first female pilot who crossed the Atlantic Ocean from America to Paris. She was a true pioneer in a time full of change. She took advantage out of new technologies and was successful with that. And so do we today. I asked myself, what would this young lady would have done with the cloud? First of all, she would not be in a flying bone shaker. She would be in a scheduled flight with lots of comfort and will probably enjoy her very own onboard entertainment with video on demand and music streaming. And when she lands in Paris, she would use cloud-based services like Google Maps to check the best-fitting connection to their hotel via Metro, or she would just grab her smart device to order a taxi or a shuttle service. But most of all, in this modern world today, she would have a fast and safe journey, thanks to engineers like you. So, who of you knows Emilia's story in detail? Just raise your hands. Okay, one girl knows it. Oh, wow. Emilia did not make it to Paris. Reaching Europe was still a huge success, but unfortunately, she had an emergency landing in Northern Ireland. Today, she would probably reach her destination, Paris, and would be also on time by the use of better weather data and forecasts provided by the cloud. As engineers, we always strive to make things better and better. So please, bring your seats in an upright position, fasten your seatbelts, 
we are going to land now. Twelve years ago, we had a vision. We wanted to combine all the software packages in one single engineering tool. Today, you are able to realize any of your machine, and Tia Portal fulfills any of your requirements. The Tia Portal has established itself as your central engineering tool, and you are using it for controllers, for HMI, for drives, and all the other components that you need for your application. The Tia Portal will have a next milestone in 2019, because it will go to the cloud. In the near future, it would be possible to use any device in doing engineering. So what was our motivation to do this significant step? Think about common use cases, like engineering in an office environment, seamless participation in web-based tier portal trainings, or doing machine service via remote connection. In the future, you will be able to collaborate with your colleagues via the cloud. Whether you're on a plane from America to Paris, you're doing a commissioning of a wind turbine in Turkmenistan, or just putting a press into operation in the Black Forest. Everything is possible. If we think about using TIA portal in the cloud, then several benefits come along. I want to focus on three of them. First, you will be able to use any device and integrate it in your engineering process, because the local installation of TIA portal is no longer necessary. Second, Scalability. Think about an ongoing commissioning, for example, again in the Black Forest, and you need to add a new member to your automation team. What is needed for that? Fitting hardware, local installation of the TIA portal, copying projects, and all this needs time and effort. Tomorrow, you will be able to use the TIA portal in the cloud. And the third aspect is automatic updates. As a TIA portal user, you don't care about the software or installation environment as well as the user right management anymore. You can concentrate on your main task to bringing the machine to life. Tia portal everywhere. Everywhere? Right here? Right now? Let's give it a try. I have an Apple iPad here. And this is connected with the cable to the screen so that you can see what I see. There are no additional tools installed on this device. What is needed to start the engineering? At first, we have to establish an internet connection. And the second, we need a browser. Therefore, I open Chrome. This is our new industry premium portal. And I'm doing the login with my credentials. After logging in in this new portal, Several services are already available for me. I'm especially interested in the TIA portal, so I click on that. There's already an instance running. I open this and open it also in full screen. And as you can see, the TIA portal surface is ready for immediate use and you can start your engineering. 
opening different editors like the hardware and network view or in this case an HMI screen. You're able to program blocks or you can even change the parameters of devices and our network. It's like that, it's that easy. And of course, if you're programming an application, you also want to test it, right? Therefore, you're also able to open up an HMI simulation. And this HMI simulation is connected to our digital twin of the S7-1500 with S7 Peel System Advanced. This means you're able to use this cloud environment also for virtual testing of your whole application. So, as you can see, we are not telling any stories because stories are often told dramatically, like Emilia's story. So, just take a look at the quote. It's from some, it's from the situation from the emergency landing in Northern Ireland. Some rumors exist. Almost no fool after landing. A cow died during landing. That's not true at all. So, don't be afraid. No cow died back then, and also no cow dies today. We still talk about the well-known TIA portal, but the TIA portal goes to the cloud and will be available from anywhere, at any time, and with any device. So come and join our journey. We will start a free trial version in October this year, especially for you. But already today and the next days, you're able to visit our showcase at the TIA portal booth, talk to our experts, and yeah, talk about the use cases you're thinking of if you want to use the engineering in the cloud. And with that word, I want to give it back to Chris. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.